All right, I'm about ready for bed, but I stayed up late to watch Blade Runner. This is the final cut of Blade Runner, but and it's also the first of my Big Ten 80s. So I gotta remember where's the here. I gotta remember to pick another one at the end of this. <laughs> Put it over here. Alright, so Blade Running Out in 1982 is directed by Ridley Scott. It stars Harrison Ford, Sean Young, Edward James Olmos, and Rucker Hauer. With appearances from M. Emmett Walsh and Brian James. And uh, follows a Blade Runner named Deckard as he tries to track down four replicants who are out there running. Led by... Uh, Roy Batty, played by Roger Hauer. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this was a weird watch. There's a convoluted back story with this, these movie, this movies. There's multiple cuts. There's like an original cut. There's a European cut. There's, an, there's a, a work print cut. Director's cut, and then there's this cut, which, I don't know, so many cuts for one film, so much that I put off watching the movie for years because I wasn't sure which cut to watch, but I've heard over and over again that the final cut is the one you want to watch because that's the definitive cut, so here we are, I watched it, and I, yes, I do have... Blade Runner 2049, but that'll be a while before I get to it. So, and so, Deckard is not technically a Blade Runner. Blade Runner is someone who hunts down replicants. Replicants are synthetic beings that are almost human. I guess they're not like robots or anything, but they're almost human. But they have no emotion, I guess. But there was a flaw where after a certain amount of time, after about four years, they would actually have emotion and it would change them. So they made a, a safety feature where they just expire after four years. And uh, so like replicants aren't allowed and Blade Runners are sent to retire them, which is basically murder, but, you know. Um, Deckard is our main character. He's brought in. This is based on a book. Something about electric sheep. I don't know. We're brought in by the chief of police or whatever he is, played by Aunt Mehmet Walsh, to track down four uh, missing uh, replicants. One of them played by Brian James. And we get we get a voiceover at the beginning of this. Or not a voiceover, but we get a little scroll thing telling us what replicants are, what Blade Runners are, and you know, history behind this. And then we get an interrogation scene really it's a test where you have Brian James before he had the longer hair, but he's sitting there and he's getting interviewed by this guy, he's asking him questions, and then all of a sudden he shoots the guy. Because he's a replicant. And he comes back later. And then he's brought in. By the cops. Uh, Deckard is. To track them down. And it leads him to this place. Where he meets Sean Young's character. Rachel. Who is a replicant. Implanted with human memories. To make her believe that she's human. It's all very weird. Um. Uh, so, uh, stylistically, this looks really good. Um, so this movie takes place in 2019, and I don't remember 2019 looking that futuristic. I really don't. Uh, I guess November of 2019 it takes place. I don't know, it's really cyberpunkish. Hmm. <sighs> See, now at 1.15 in the morning, I understand why I'm yawning, but when I'm trying to record a video at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm yawning, 
but um, very stylistic. Um, there's even some effects that are still pretty good, I think, that hold up a lot because I think Ridley Scott actually went back and edited some. Like, they, like there was some missed dialogue with Deckard where they had actually uh, Harrison Ford's son, Ben, which is really weird when you think Ben Solo, and then he has a son named Ben. Come back and remount the dialogue of this. Harrison Ford was busy. I guess Harrison Ford didn't have the best of time on this film. Um, and then they had the actress who played one of the replicants come back and redo her scene because I guess that looked bad. I didn't notice, but yeah. I think Harrison Ford does a pretty good job. I mean, it's Harrison Ford. I guess he showed up uh, to the first day and said or something when Indiana Jones had because that's what he was filming at the time. Or maybe his audition or something, I don't know. That's pretty funny. Rucker Howard's performance as the villain, I guess, I think is pretty good. I guess. I think it's pretty good. Um, again, though, I have to go back to this. The big fight scene at the end is he's got no shirt on and it's in the rain and he's fighting against Deckard in the rain. And it's like, okay, so Blade Runner, Cyborg, and... Universal Soldier, which are futuristic enough. I'm not remembering Universal Soldier so much, but yeah, <laughs> rainy final fight, and uh, yeah. So the big thing that people talk about with the, when it comes to the final cut, at least, is the implication that Deckard. Could be a replicant. Now I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen it yet. But I'm pretty sure. 2049 outright tells you he's not. I mean. Uh, really Scott has said before. Oh, yeah. He's replicant. Harrison Ford would tell you no. But. Uh, they do things with lighting. Where his eyes look red. And then. He has this dream. About a unicorn that's probably just test footage or something from Legend or Willow or the last unicorn that was an animated film. I don't know. Something. And then he had get at the end, Evan James almost his character with Gaff leaves him a little origami unicorn. And it's just like Oh, because that was his dream, and so they implying that it was implanted. Honestly, my personal opinion is, no, he's not a replicant. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to debunk that in 2049. Pretty sure they did that. I haven't watched it yet, but, because I've heard for years this whole thing, oh, he's a replicant, you know, but he's old. If he was a replicant... He would die after four years. Unless he was an older model. But he's still old. Replicants wouldn't age, right? You think that would, you know... Replicants don't age, right? This, not to my knowledge. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. But, um... I don't know. Uh... Daryl Hannah's in this. She plays sort of a sidekick to Rucker Howell's character. She's, she's alright, doesn't do much, but you know, she does some, I guess, but not not bad. Um, yeah, here we go. The name of the book. Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? I got nothing. This is a weird name. D just like the one for Total Recall. I'll buy it from your wholesale. Who comes up with these names? You know, at least you know you could say other books like, like uh, Stand by Me. The original book was the short story was The Body. Makes sense, right? And um, yeah, uh, Cyborg's original title was. Slinger, which makes more sense in the context because the cyborg is really a small part of that movie. So, yeah. Uh, 
this was pretty good, and I was surprised how good in HD. It's 10, 1080p. It's in widescreen, which, you know, I think this could benefit from being, not full screen, but you know what I mean, fitting the entire screen, I think it would look much better. But even in widescreen, it looks really good. Um, I actually quite enjoyed this film, but... I think before I watch Blade Runner 2046, I might have to give this another watch because it, it bears multiple view multiple viewings, I think. But uh, overall, yeah, I enjoyed this. Um that's the music score. That, that was I almost forgot that. Uh who did the music score on this? Fan Jealous. Not a bad music score, to be honest. I thought it was pretty good. So the original film came out in 1982. Final Cut is 2007, but it's based on an 1982 film. So now. I gotta blow my nose. Sorry. I don't like getting up from there. Alright. Oh. Yeah, is this Ridley Scott's best film? Uh, I haven't seen all his films, but I think Alien's better than this. Uh, but this is not bad, you know, for a film. Uh, you know, in 82. So, uh, when it comes to Blade Runner... I'm gonna say it's pretty, 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 pretty good. So uh, let's go ahead and pick our next one. And it's gonna be a DVD. First of all, let's shut it up a little bit here. It's Blu ray. DVD. We have the, yeah, the Great Outdoors. That'll be my next one. I'm going to do it tomorrow because I'm going to get ready. I'm going to go bad. So what are your thoughts on Blade Runner? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.